Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw are the backbone of the graphic design industry, which leads many to question which one is the software worth investing in money, time, and energy to learn about. In today's video, we will attempt to figure this out by laying all the different aspects of each software together and comparing them. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's look at these software from a general perspective. Illustrator is Adobe's very own vector graphics editor. It's used for all kinds of graphic design work, from the creation of logos to flyers and billboard art. Illustrator can work on both Windows and Mac and is part of Adobe's Creative Cloud, meaning you can either get it alone for a subscription of 31.49 USD a month paid monthly or for 79.49 USD a month paid monthly alongside many other products by Adobe, such as Photoshop and After Effects, apps that are usually used in conjunction with each other. Corel Draw is also a vector graphics editor, developed by Corel Corporation. Initially, Corel Draw was only available on Windows, but recently a version for Mac was released. Unlike Illustrator, Corel is new to the Mac game, so if you're a Mac user, keep this in mind. Corel Draw has a standard edition for all of your graphic design needs, but also offers a graphic design suite under the same name, which takes the package to the next level. The former costs 419 USD as a one-time purchase, as for the latter, it costs 23.75 USD a month paid annually. Or you can get the 2021 version of the suite for 665 USD as a one-time purchase. If you have any prior knowledge of other Adobe products, you'll find Illustrator's interface very familiar. Like its sibling apps, Illustrator sports a sleek gray and white look. The menu bar is at the top, with quick actions just below. The left side has the toolbar, and the right side has the properties panel that can host different kinds of subpanels for layers, colors, symbols, and so on and so forth. The bottom bar is the status bar, where you can find the zoom percentage and how many projects are open. The center is, of course, all for your canvas. Corel Draw is not much different from Illustrator or any other digital art software in its presentation. On all sides is some kind of panel or bar with the canvas in the stage center. The main difference between Illustrator and Corel Draw is that on the right side, instead of having the panels exposed, we have swatches of colors squished at the right with three vertical bars that can expand when clicked on. The first one is for hints, the second for properties, and the last for objects. The other notable difference is the number of quick actions under the menu bar. Corel Draw has many, while Illustrator sports only few. Corel comes in a very light gray color with black detailing. Now, let's take a brief overview of the two software's tools. Being a software dedicated to graphic design, Illustrator offers tools that are suitable for said purpose naturally. These tools are divided by Adobe into six categories, each category hosting different kinds of tools. In this way, Illustrator has tools for drawing such as pen, anchor, and curvature tools. It also has tools for painting, such as mesh, gradient, and shape builder tools. Controlling your shapes and moving them about is made possible with all the different selection tools in the software, such as lasso, magic wand, and the group selection tool. In order to move about and around your canvas, outside of moving shapes, you have tools such as the hand tool, print tiling tool, rotate view, and zoom tools. Text is an indispensable element in graphic design, and not having it in your software would be a disaster. So of course, Illustrator has tools for text implementation, such as type tool, area type tool, type on a path, and so on and so forth. Last, but certainly not least, are the modification tools that help you manipulate your different shapes and objects. These tools include, but are not limited to, rotate, reflect, scale, and shear tools. All of these tools have you covered in every way to start your graphic design journey. Let's see if Corel can rival Illustrator when it comes to tools. Long story short, it sure can. Just like Illustrator, Corel has all of your run-of-the-mill graphic design tools. 
For instance, the software has object manipulation tools such as shape tool, pick tool, and the smudge and roughen brushes. It also has drawing tools, such as the usual Bezier and pen tool, alongside others, such as three-point curve, polyline, and dimension drawing tools. Other tools include the artistic media tool that hosts different tools under it, such as sprayer, brush, calligraphic, preset, and pressure tools. We cannot forget the basic shape tools for rectangle and polygon shapes, alongside other shapes. And of course, the software has a text tool, as well as dimension and connector tools for drawing all kinds of line variations. Other tools include, but are not limited to, the live sketch tool, the block shadow tool, and the bitmap up sampling feature. Respectively, these three tools allow you to do freehand drawing, add shadow to a given object, and upscale a raster image without losing quality. The tools between these two software might present differently, but ultimately at their core, they're essentially the same and would get you the same result, pretty much. So, which of these software is easier for a beginner? Let's find out. Illustrator's learning curve depends on where you are coming at it from. If you're a complete beginner with no knowledge or experience with a digital art software, Illustrator will definitely have a huge learning curve. If you have experience with any digital art software, the learning curve lessens but perseveres nonetheless. Now, if you have experience working with other similar Adobe products such as Photoshop or After Effects, this will lessen the learning curve immensely. One other thing that makes the learning curve less of a problem is Illustrator's popularity, and thus the wealth of video tutorials about the software that you can find on YouTube, or elsewhere, might I add. There are whole series dedicated to teaching you all about it. Adobe also has excellent documentation when it comes to their software. They have everything written out for you, and even videos explaining everything. So, starting with Illustrator, or any Adobe product for that matter, is made very accessible to all people. Corel wins over Illustrator a tiny bit here because of its easier learning curve right off the bat. It's known to be easier to understand and use in comparison to Illustrator. However, it's beaten by Illustrator when it comes to documentation and the availability of resources. Well, sure, there are many on YouTube out there, but not near the level of Illustrator. Alright, moment of truth. It's really hard to say which one fits better. Had one been way better than the other that so many people flock to it, the other won't exist. It would be irrelevant and would no longer be available to begin with. Each one of the software has its user base and serves a niche. Ultimately though, many graphic design professionals use both of the software in a complementary fashion. Although a lot of companies now use Adobe products exclusively, a lot would appreciate experience using both on your CV. When it comes to a personal level, we highly recommend you get a feel for both by trying their free trials and getting the one you prefer. For instance, you might want something with a bigger range, that would be Illustrator. But if you want something that eases you into graphic design, well, then Corel Draw would be better. On one hand, you can have Illustrator's popularity, status in the industry, variety of features, but struggle affording it and learning it. On the other hand, you have Corel's ease of use and better deal for a one-time purchase, but struggle with its lack of resources and its more niche community and use. For real, ultimately no one can decide but you, because a decision like this would boil to your personal situation and circumstances. And that's that for our video today. Let us know which software you prefer and why. These software are huge in the industry. We obviously can't fit everything about them in a single video, so let us know if we missed anything you think is vital. We would love to hear what you think. With that being said, thank you for watching as always and see you next time.